is going on, y'all? It is the Caveman back at it again with another video. And it's been a while since I've talked about the Sabres or hockey in general on this channel. There really hasn't been much to talk about, especially regarding the Sabres. Tonight is a pretty big and pretty important night for a plethora of reasons, and I am extremely excited for it, and I wanted to talk about it. Before we get into all of that, you guys know the drill around here. Mata applesauce, if you're ever hungry, thirsty, whatever it might be, Mata applesauce will satisfy whatever satisfy you satisfy the Cayman guarantee. I promise it will never fail you. The Buffalo Sabres return tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, and I don't think I've been as excited as I am for tonight all season. There's a lot I want to catch up on regarding the Buffalo Sabres, but we'll start with tonight's game. The Buffalo Sabres coming off of the COVID pause are hosting the New Jersey Devils about an hour after this video is posted. Why is this game so exciting? Well, let me tell you. First off, we're hosting a game. It's always fun to have a game at home, not to mention it's the first game coming off of the COVID break, so that's always good too. Hockey's back. Tonight also happens to be the night that three Sabres are making their debut. JJ Paterka, who we drafted in the 2020 NHL draft, he's been lighting it up lately as well as the two guys we got in the return for Jack Eichel being Alex Tuck the veteran from the Las Vegas Golden Knights as well as Peyton Krebs from the Las Vegas Golden Knights this is a pretty monumental night this is like kind of our future here I'm sure you know if you're watching this video but Alex Tuck is actually a Western New York native he grew up around here where the Buffalo Sabres play and considering the fact that he's coming from a cup contender for him to be so enthusiastic about playing for us that's pretty damn cool. Not to mention, we will be seeing the young Uka Pekalukinen back in net tonight for the Buffalo Sabres. Before the big pause, he'd been playing lights out for us. In a time of need where we really had nobody else to play in net for the Sabres that can actually be serviceable, he came up from the Americans and started playing out of his mind. The thing that's so bizarre about that is he'd been absolutely sucking down in Rochester. He couldn't stop a beach ball. The dude was getting lit up. But now he comes up to a higher level of competition with a worse team in front of him, or debatably worse, and he just starts playing crazy. I mean, I don't understand it. Goalies will forever be bizarre and unpredictable, but hey, I'll take it. UPL has some pretty high expectations. As a fan base and a franchise, we've instilled a lot of hope and promise into this kid. He's supposed to be unreal. And to see him struggle only in Rochester was relatively concerning, but now that he's come up and he's shown what he's capable of, it's kind of given us a breath of fresh air with him that we've been looking for. So that's that's a good thing. Sabres have not had that much success as of late, but at least we're not the New Jersey Devils. They're currently on a six-game losing streak, and they've only won three of their last 18 games. So you want to talk about a team that is trending in the wrong direction this year. We got one that's coming to our house tonight. It start off decent, but it's been tough sledding as of late. But that doesn't mean it's going to be an easy win, right? We have a lot of things to look forward to tonight, but that doesn't mean this team is going to come out and lay down for us to get a free victory. They're going to come out after this COVID pause looking for their first win in the last six. They're going to come out hard, so we have to be prepared. For Lance, these are what the lines looked like at the morning skate, and these are the lines that we should expect tonight. Um, The thing that stuck out to me the most was the fact that we stuck Peyton Krebs in his NHL debut between Kyle Oposo and Brett Murray. I would have probably switched him and Artur Roos to line in. No more than Donnie Meatballs. I'm not going to act like I do. I just don't think it screams attractive to start your Buffalo Sabres debut with Kyle Oposo and Brett Murray by your sides. But Kyle Oposo, to be fair struck the fountain of youth this offseason and he's been unreal so you know what it, it'll work out so that last deep pairing is certainly not the most inspiring you could probably find something like that in the united states somewhere in junior b but i think we'll make do something that i touched on earlier when i was talking about upl is our goalie pool and i want to talk about just quickly how good it really is we have upl up with the sabers earning minutes as we speak we also have a kid in michigan named eric portillo who i'm sure you're relatively familiar with his name has not been talked about that much as of late for probably two reasons one being he hasn't played that well and the fact that we also have Devin Levi which I'll get to in a second um so his name is kind of getting drowned out but that doesn't change the fact that I think he has the potential to be a solid starter in the NHL then of course we have Devin Levi I mean I don't think I can really put into words how well this kid has been playing. He is putting up Ryan Miller, Hobie Baker type numbers. And we all know how Ryan Miller panned out here in, in Buffalo. So um, if that continues to trend in the correct direction, we could have stolen something super special from the Florida Panthers. And although we gave up Sam Reinhart, who has been a cornerstone for this franchise for about a decade, I, I think we're going to be looking back on this trade about 10 or 11 years from now and thinking, holy shit, we robbed 
the, the Florida Panthers. Staying as optimistic as possible, it's pretty exciting to think about how good UPL and Devin Levi could be, or, you know, Eric Portillo, Devin Levi, and UPL, or however it all pans out. It's pretty exciting to think about because I think all three of these guys have tremendously bright futures in the league with the Buffalo Sabres. So hope to God it all goes to plan. And of course, we can't forget the fact that we have Owen Power, the kid we just drafted in this year's draft, putting up a hat trick in the World Juniors Tournament, which is about to get canceled. But nevertheless, defenseman putting up a hat trick in, in the World Juniors is something you like to hear when he's a part of your prospect pool. So yeah, there's a lot to look forward to as a Sabres fan right now. It, it is kind of dangerous territory we're entering because we have not had this much hope in a very long time. Hopefully we aren't being lured in for a complete letdown. And for those fans that are super, super optimistic, we are only eight points out of a playoff spot only eight points and with about two-thirds of the season still remaining we string a couple wins together we can make things interesting down the stretch now i am not prepared as a buffalo sabers fan to have any sort of expectations of the sort and i would advise you do the same but still only eight points out we've seen us go on some random winning streaks before who knows If you enjoyed the video, as always, please like, subscribe, do all the fun stuff. If you want to hit the bell to be notified when I upload, I would appreciate that. You want to go over to Twitter, follow me over there. I would appreciate that as well. I have a TikTok down in the description you should go check out. And I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.